For me, the the aha moment when I knew that God was in charge of my life and it wasn't me in charge anymore was about eight years ago. And I had reached the end of my sanity trying to help raise our three kids. And every day something new would come up and it would just take me down. So I, I found a dark room and I went and prayed to my God about how to raise these three kids. And he came to me and, and said, it's going to be okay. I've got this. I would turn to alcohol mainly to try and mask the, the, the stress and anxiety of having to, to deal with these things on my own. So I would say alcohol and then pleasure activities, trying to fill up the, the, the empty part, the pain of, of an anguish of, of uh, seeing things happening to my three kids. Well, I grew up in the church and I would go to church on Sunday and say my prayers to God, but I felt like I was just going through the motions. I didn't really know who Jesus was. So through the years, up until I was in my 40s, it took that long to realize what Jesus did for me and to me. When I was in that dark room praying to God to save these three children and myself, my revelation was that I knew He was there with me. I felt that sense of peace and that comfort knowing that He was right there with me. And it, it's hard to describe the feeling, but it was, it was that overall sense of peace and joy knowing that I wasn't doing this on my own. I knew He was there with me. Yeah, looking back on my um, childhood growing up, uh, I was raised in a home with pornography, alcoholism, and a very strong work ethic. So my life was, was full of all these things, these external things, and I kind of got caught up in that. Growing up, it was about me, and I did things that I'm not proud of. Um, I dated numerous women, and I, I think I hurt them along the way to the point where I didn't think God would forgive me. I think my work ethic uh, growing up in my family caused me to transfer that into my Christian life, and I felt I could work harder and pray harder and ask for God's forgiveness and it would come forth because I worked harder at that. And I realized that was not the case. I think having brothers in my life to share the good and bad things that come along is so important. It's so vitally important to have someone to lean on. Going forward, um, there's no way I would go through life without brothers to, to be able to share my story to listen to their story, to, to lean on each other and build each other up. So brothers in Christ um, is so important. And uh, there's, there's no other way I would go through life without brothers in Christ to lean on. But before Christ came into my life, I would do things on my own. I was a standalone guy. I didn't need anyone. But now I know that I need brothers in Christ. I'm GT, and I'm a man passionate about Christ.